Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Today I got a fun one for you, and this is definitely by community request. That's right. You guys, the community, uh, told us what you wanted by commenting down below in our videos or hitting us up over in Discord. Uh, but you guys definitely let us know that you guys wanted to know how to maximize your mining profits. That's right, guys. We're going to show you a couple ways that you can do that, and that's going to be free, guys. It's not going to cost you a dime, a penny, um, a satoshi, a um, Anything that you might want to spend is definitely not going to cost you any Doge coin. Hope you guys have stocked up for that. Elon's going to pump it. Um, but anyway, um, this one's by community request. We are going to show you guys how to maximize your mining profits, um, and it's not going to cost you a dime. Whether you are a GPU mining farmer or you are someone who is doing a little gardening at your home, we're going to show you a couple websites that you can use to kind of help figure out what coins to mine. Also show you a couple places that you can find uh, just some other pieces of information and those types of things. So, without further ado, let's get into a video on how to maximize those mining profits. Alrighty guys, as always, uh, in the description down below, we're going to have links so you guys can do your own research. That's probably the most important thing that we could ever talk with you guys about is doing your own research. But whether you are a GPU mining farm operator or you got just a few uh, a few GPU rigs in your, um, in your uh, garden there, um, we're going to show you guys how to go ahead and maximize those profits. First things first. Um, and, and, and guys, some people don't like to use what to mine, but what to mine can give you a pretty good idea of what you're actually going to earn per day. And what I mean by that is these numbers are never exact. But if you compare them with maybe a couple other um, estimators, est uh, a couple other places that you can gather some information like this, it can kind of help you figure out those things. Um, a lot of people are converting coins and selling on a day-to-day -day basis. And... You definitely need to maximize your profit, profits on a day-to-day -day basis. Normally, guys, I'm not going to recommend jumping from coin to coin and those types of things. Um, I'm the kind of person that will tell you to find something and hollow, sit on it, and just mine, mine, mine. If you've been mining through the bear market, any coin, guys, any coin you've been mining through that bear market, you guys should all be killing it, slaughtering it. So first things first, <laughs> thumbs up to you. The mining community for sticking it out. Um, thumbs up to the other people here in the mining community for helping others get involved with this. Guys, the world is changing. But, like we said, guys, not everybody's going to sell coins on a day-to-day -day basis. Not everybody's going to try to look for that most profitable thing to mine. But what to mine can give you some really good numbers that can help you figure out if you need to switch coins, um, switch projects like that. One of the things I like about what to mine is you can actually pick um, the different algorithms that you want to run, and um, you actually are able to um, pick your hardware. You could punch in that you've got three 480s, or um, to make things easy today, we put in that we have one 2080. Um, and then what you can do is you can come down here and you're able to um, pick uh, some different algorithms that you might want to mine or see the profitability. So we've picked a few, like uh, we picked a few ethash. Uh, Cuckoo Cycle, Octopus, Zellhash, Kapow, MTP, Verthash, and Aeon, guys. Just because I picked these does not mean these are the most profitable guys by any means, but we're just trying to show you guys how to um, maximize your profitability on a day-to-day -day basis. And guys, once again, this isn't costing you a dime. The websites we're going to show you guys aren't going to have a dime, but they should be in your tool bag that you should be using on a day-to-day -day basis. You're also able to, what's really nice here is you're also able to punch in your, your electric there. Um, but once you hit calculate, what it does is it goes ahead and it brings up some nice fun numbers here, guys. It shows you the different projects that you can mine. Also going to show you a couple things like um, network hash rate. It'll show you um, your profitability before electric, and that's usually the top number here. Then it'll show you the actual take home after taxes. And when I say taxes, guys, I'm not saying the tax man, Uncle Sam, for you guys here in the United States. Um, typically, you're going to have miners are going to have um, taxes or uh, electricity. So after your electric rate, which I'm kind of showing you here, and guys, these are estimates. Do not beat me up on this. If you're not earning this, if you don't earn what what to mine says. This is just a rough estimate, rough guide. It shows you different projects that you can mine. So anyway, guys, so you see here that it, it brought up a couple different 
different coins it shows you different prices there so that's one way that you can help maximize your profits is making sure you're checking out what to mine on a day-to-day -day basis keeping your hash rate up and steady your electric rate here up and steady your card steady so basically all you got to do is hit that calculate button a couple times a day and kind of see where you're at another thing I really like about what to mine in the description down below like we said guys there will be links for all this stuff so you can do your own research as you can actually scroll through and then pick a coin um, you know you can pick a coin and, and, and kind of see what what's going on there a lot of people probably pick doge right now um, ethereum classic has been hot hot sizzling hot so um, we'll kind of punch that up here and once again you guys you can put in your your uh, electric cost your power your hash rate and once you hit calculate what it does is it then goes ahead and gives you um, cost um, profits and all those types of things so this is definitely one way that you're going to be able to help maximize your mining profits is just to know on a day-to-day -day basis what is most profitable let's say you got those ASICs once again another reason I like um, what to mine you can actually head over um, to the ASIC tab and once again same thing you can pick um, the the algorithm that you want you're going to be able to put in your hash rate power usage your electric you hit calculate and then it's going to show you all the fun stuff here so that's one way to maximize your mining profits is keep up with what to mine on a day-to-day -day basis another way is actually going to know what your mining pool is doing and you guys will hear me chime in about this pretty much on every video that we talk about showing you guys how to mine and when we're talking about any project is mining pool stats dot stream if you're a miner you've got to know this one first of all it's going to help you find out those mining pools it is pretty difficult to find a lot of mining pools out there in a short period of time um, but what this does is this actually allows is brings in all these stats gives you all sorts of interesting things so first things first guys if you guys are new to the channel please hit that subscription icon in the upper right hand corner I really cherish that um, give us a thumbs up if you like these videos comment down below let us know what you see want to see in one of our next videos if you want other explanations on things um, this really helps other people in the community find our videos it also helps us um, help you guys thank you guys to the community as always for having us in your home but uh, mining pool stats dot stream let's say I want to figure out ethereum we'll click on ethereum and it's really really sweet what it does is it shows you different things it shows you some mining pools now that MEV or minor extracted value is in play and um, we've actually got um, stats here that, that, that they will show you which mining pools are giving you which aren't nano pool currently is not mining pool hub currently is not binance.com currently is not ant pool currently is not um, few others as well aren't sharing that minor extracted value uh, so with the Ethereum blockchain this is definitely something something to look at another thing that you're gonna wanna see here is pool fee this is gonna actually tell you how much it's gonna cost for you guys to mine there so what's happening for you guys new that are new to mining as you're mining um, you get to a certain payout then the pool pays you well the pool takes their cut um, of that so mining pools have different pool fees depending on their um, pool fee structure so things could be PPS plus um, PPLNS lots of different ways so you see 1% 2% 1.5% 0% 1 all sorts of different ways um, to get fees out of you so that's something that you'll want to check out on mining pool stats dot stream because that definitely affects your profitability and that's what we're trying to help you guys do today is maximize your profitability another thing on mining pools just because it's the number one pool on the list with the highest hash rate does not mean it's gonna pay the most please do your own research with that you're also gonna be able to see the miners online how many miners are on those different pools you're gonna be able to see the seven day history there that's pretty cool um, be able to see the hash rate percentage of the network hash rate all the way over here in the other right hand corner you're gonna be able to see how long ago they found those blocks so depending on what coin you're gonna mine let's say you want to mine ethereum classic um, you click on it there you go to mining pool stats stream you click on it and it shows you all the different stats there so these are really good stats you're also going to be able to see ethereum classic just went through the roof this week and that's why you can see the network hash rate switched here another thing to keep in mind guys watch this hash rate you guys want to see what's going on if the hash rates going up that means difficulties going up that means everybody's on it that means you might not quite get as many coins in the bag when the hash rates down difficulties down you're gonna put more coins in the bag you guys yourself need to figure out what is worth it more for you to 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 mine every day the coins that are most profitable or to switch here you can see ethereum's 
network hash rate has been pretty steady but when we go back to ethereum classic you can see here within the last seven days it is through the roof and that's because ethereum classic was 170 dollars a coin i believe guys this is nuts if you guys like these videos you better comment down below you better give us a thumbs up better let us know what you think mining pool stats .stream will help you guys tremendously another thing i like about mining pool stats .stream is it can let you know where they're located at or where what region the pool is located you'll also when you are mining doesn't matter what mining pool you're at you are going to want to find their um, servers uh, the find the ports for their servers that are closest to you and what i mean by that is let's click on hive on you guys hear me talk a lot about hive hive os in the description down below we'll have a link if you guys don't have hive os and you're running open air or a lot of gpu mining frames you better check those out but when you head over to hive os um, you're going to be able to see here like when you click on the ethereum mining pool you come down and what you want to find is different servers so if you're in russia you would want this one europe north american east asia pacific us west so those are a couple things the reason you want to find a, a a server that's close to you why is that important well the closer the server is to you the quicker you're connecting to the network the quicker you're connecting to the network um, the more shares you're finding the more shares you're finding the more coins you're putting in the bag so once again we are trying to help you guys maximize your mining profits and we've been doing this for free you guys haven't had to pay one dime to check out any of these other things but hive um, OS is definitely something like we said that you guys should check out I like hive OS because I've actually seen how it operates versus other operating systems out here at the GPU mining farm we actually switched from ethos to hive out here and we saw substantial growth in hash rate stability um, tenfold all stats all across the board just just from switching from ethos to hive OS so description down below you're gonna be able to check out hive OS learn out some other things but you're able to get that on your phone um, you're able to control all those minor programs all those different overclock settings guys I mean hive OS is the real deal holy field so please check that out now depending on how many workers you have um, if you have one worker it's gonna be free as you work your way up depending on if you're mining at their mining pool or not there will be different amounts of charges so please as always guys do your own research on that another thing you're going to want to do when you're trying to help figure out or maximize your mining um, profitability is you're going to want to check out coinmarketcap.com reason you're going to want to do this is you're just going to be able to see the day-to-day -day price of coins you're going to be able to see whether they're up or down on the 24 or the seven day their market cap all sorts of different shenanigans so any coin that that you do find on what to mine I would typically recommend heading over to like a site like coinmarketcap.com or maybe even CoinGecko to compare a couple numbers because always guys it's better to do more research than not enough um, but you can kind of see where those numbers are where they've been here the last few days as well because once again guys we're trying to help you guys maximize your mining profitability another place you want to go to keep up with a lot of different things would actually be VossCoinTalk.com um, whether it's a new miner coming out, new miner programs, um, overclocks, all sorts of different things. One thing that I found with VossCoinTalk.com um, is just the, is a bunch of information all in one place. And if you guys know VossCoin, um, he is one of the largest um, cryptocurrency YouTubers, mining YouTubers out there. So it's really cool to be able to see all the information gathered in one place. And some of you guys might be like, what? But YouTube, guys, I'm a YouTuber, man. You guys know it. I'm a tube tuber, a uh, coin tuber, a uh, um, mining tuber, whatever you want to call it. But I like to type in or keep up the cryptocurrency tab. And since I check out a lot of mining things, you will see all sorts of different mining videos come up from people like Mining Chamber, Voss Coin, um, guys, Son of a Tech, Red Panda Mining, um, I mine blocks you will find all sorts of different things about the mining community um, and other things having to do with cryptocurrency so if you're keeping up with things like like Twitter as well um, reddit those kinds of places those can help you kind of see what's hot on the press but if you guys are actually trying to maximize your mining profit whether you're at the GPU mining farm or at your house doing some gardening well you're definitely gonna want to check out whattomine.com We've got that link in the description down below for you. You're also going to want to head over to miningpoolstats.stream. Um, 
shows you a lot of different things that will help you maximize those mining profits. Um, also, I highly recommend using Hive OS. Um, you'll thank me for it once you get switched over to it. That we can guarantee. You also should definitely check out CoinMarketCap.com as well as CoinGecko. Um, but today we've been talking with you guys about different ways to maximize those mining profits. We've showed you some free ways to do that. Everything we showed you is free, especially Voscoin Talk, guys. That is free. All you got to do is get signed up. You might even see some articles that we write over there. Um, we're having a lot of fun with this stuff, guys. We're having a lot of fun over on YouTube as well. So if you guys have liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please comment down below. Also, if you guys are new to the channel um, and you guys haven't had a chance yet, um, you're definitely going to want to check out dogelord.com. Um, we were able to partner up with dogelord.com here recently, um, and we've been able to actually get our Not Your Normal Miner Collection. Guys, that's right. Um, Doge Lord Apparel is really, really great to work with. You're going to be able to get hats and shirts and all sorts of other stuff, but we definitely want you guys to check out the MILF shirt that we were able to work with and, and do. Work with some great artists over on Fiverr. And once again, we partnered with Doge Lord Apparel. And we've got our own freaking collection over there. But the MILF shirt, guys, man, I love farming. Well, any of you guys that are operating GPU mining farms, this is definitely the shirt for you. But you can definitely check out that link in the description down below. Um, it'll definitely help you, uh, help, help you find some of that... Um, cryptocurrency mining swag as well but today the most important thing guys we've been talking with you guys about is the different ways to help maximize your daily mining profitability if you like this give us a thumbs up comment down below let us know what you missed let us know what this helped you out my name is Wes I'm not your normal miner guys thank you guys very much as always for having us in your home have a great day